All right, guys, welcome back to Casey's Kitchen. That sounds ridiculous. Welcome back to The Hush Life, where we are gonna do another wild game recipe on a Cam Chef. Can you guess what it's gonna be? No guesses, completely dumbfounded. So I have here a breast of a pheasant, some flour, some breadcrumbs, one egg, we have mozzarella cheese, marinara sauce, and we have fresh Parmesan. What we are gonna to create today is actually a very easy recipe. You guys can do this at home, follow along, but I'm throwing a little twist in the mix. I am only going to use the Camp Chef Striker to create this delicious recipe. The Camp Chef Striker is a backcountry stove. You guys have probably seen it a lot when we're up in the high country of Utah doing a backpack hunt, but also we use it a lot when we're doing a truck camp. It's a great all-around stove. Now, I'm not gonna pack all these delicious ingredients with me into the backcountry. And Eric might, but I just want to demonstrate the awesomeness that is the Cam Chef Striker. And you can use it to create some delicious meals. So, let's get started. So as you can see, we have this delicious piece of pheasant breast. We went to a uh, pheasant farm last week with Cam Chef, shot a bunch of birds, it was awesome. You know, I don't know what your beliefs are on pheasant farms. The way I look at it is it's a great time to go collect some delicious groceries. So the first thing we want to do to this pheasant breast, take this breast like so, and we're actually gonna split it right down the middle, but not all the way through. So this helps to have a super sharp knife. My beautiful wife just bought some Cutco knives, and let me tell you, they're phenomenal. So you wanna go about three quarters of the way through the breast right up into here. Like I said, don't go all the way through. You just want to make a nice little pocket in there. Basically, your breast should look something like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take some of this fresh mozzarella and put it in the middle. I'm going to break this piece up. You don't want it overhanging out of the uh, pocket that you created. You just want it to sit nicely in there. Okay, so we have the mozzarella inside the Present. And then we're going to take some salt, a little bit of fresh pepper, both sides, and we're good. All right, now that we have our mozzarella in our pheasant breast and we have the uh, it properly seasoned with the salt and pepper, we are going to take our flour first and go flour. I want to do this evenly on both sides. Okay, nice and floured. Then egg. And then we're gonna go straight to our breadcrumbs. We're gonna to wanna to make sure the breadcrumbs are nice and even all around. So now that I have the breast nice and uh, crumbed with bread, and I have washed the soil plate, because by golly, people on the internet aren't gonna handle cross-contamination. Don't do it. All right, next thing we are going to do is fire up the Camp Chef striker. Pretty easy. This thing adjusts pretty low and go pretty hot. You can boil water within like 40 seconds, what we found. So I'm gonna start it out pretty low. Another secret when you're using these, uh, this is a Camp Chef um, pan kit that you can get at campchef.com, but before you put this, it's a thin plate, it's made for backpacking, so it's a thin pan. Before you put it on the fire, you definitely want to make sure there's either water or oil in it, whatever you're trying to heat up. So we want to, you know, just cover the bottom of this pan with some uh, fine extra virgin oil. So we have about that much in there, and then we are going to heat that bad boy up. Pause momentarily, I'll be right back. All right, so the oil is nice and hot, but here's a little uh, pro tip. Uh, take a little flour and dump it in the oil, and if it starts cooking, you're hot, okay? Pro tip. So we're hot, we're gonna take the breaded breast and put it on in there. It's gonna take about I don't know, two to three minutes on each side, but all you're really wanting to do is brown the pheasant breast at this particular moment.
We have uh, browned the one side. You can see nice and brown. I'm gonna flip it over. We do the same to the other side. Actually, that took about a minute and a half is all. So, you know, just watch it. Play it by eye. Play it by sound. I don't know. Whatever you do when you cook. You use your uh, instincts, okay? Don't listen to me. Or listen to me a little bit. Not all, like all the time. Well, most of the time. Just when you guys think you should. Which is a lot of the time. I'm gonna wash my plate as I'm, while I'm waiting. Because by golly, the internet is not gonna take cross contamination. Alright, people at home, people at home. I believe we have reached our destination. It's time we get off the train. This thing looks beautiful. Nice and well browned. And now, we're gonna do. One more step. So the next step, if you're not using a Camp Chef striker, would be to put it in a cooking dish and put it in the oven. We're not doing that. We're gonna use a little taller pan and we're gonna use this like an oven. But like I was saying before, you never wanna put one of these pans on um, the stove without something in there. Plus this will help from, from uh, burning the uh, pheasant. We're gonna put a little marinara in the bottom of the pan just to coat it. All right, now that we've got the bottom of the pan coated with marinara, we're gonna set that aside. And what we're gonna do is take some more marinara, it's marinara hour, <laughs> and then put it on top of the breast. You know, you can go as heavy as you want, you can go light. I'm kind of a marinara guy. I enjoy the sauce. Now that we have the beautiful breast marinated, marinated. <laughs> is that a word? Does that make sense? Marinated. So now we're going to take some more mozzarella, two more pieces, lay it on there. So now we're going to put the fresh parmigiana on it, hence the name chicken pheasant parmesan. And we're ready to put it in our make believe oven. <laughs> All right, now that the pheasant is dressed and ready for prom. We are going to put her back in here, throw the lid on, and uh, try to maintain that heat in there without burning the bottom, obviously. Uh, that's why you put the marinara in. Should only be about five or six minutes, and then we're going to have a delicious piece of pheasant parmesan. You can also do this with noodles. I didn't think about that. I should have cooked some noodles, which you can also do on the striker, but I'm just going to cook the uh, piece of meat and show you guys how to do that. Noodles are pretty basic, so just read the back of them and it'll tell you how to do it. I'll leave a link in the bottom. All right, the moment of truth. Oh, it looks amazing. This has turned out better than I could have ever dreamed. This thing is oh, beautiful. Let's give her. Let's give her a test drive. We're gonna cut into this thing and see how it turned out. Can you guys see that? You see that? My camera is not picking it up. We'll do it back here. You see that? Scrum diddly umptious, guys. Scrum diddly umptious. Look at this. Like I was saying, this is an easy recipe. Try it at home. You don't have to use a backcountry stove if you don't want to, but I just proved that you can. So I usually use a uh, cast iron to brown the the meat if it's either chicken or pheasant i prefer pheasant and then i'll just throw it in a cookie dish or a cooking dish and throw it in the oven for you know 10 15 minutes but oh man it's really good um, one of our favorite recipes that we do so i uh, maybe want or are thinking about doing and i've been talking to eric and brian about this about doing a whole series of maybe challenges is what i what maybe the best way to describe it but a challenge series of out of the three of us, who can cook the very best meal on a uh, Camp Chef Striker? So let us know what you think, if you guys would want to watch that. And let us also know uh, if there's some dishes that you guys want us to try, or of a recipe that you know that, we, that you guys want us to try, because we're going to be doing a lot more cooking videos. So let us know down in the bottom uh, if you would watch a Striker Challenge series. Let us know. Anyways, thanks again, as always, guys for watching and supporting us. I'm gonna go and feed my face with this chicken parmesan, okay?